Greetings! Alright, this is part three, and unlike the other two videos, this is actually recorded after I got 1,000 subs. The other ones were recorded beforehand because I knew that I had better start, and you know, it was four o'clock in the morning. What else was I going to do? Yes, I've been a little bit down the last, like, week or so, so I haven't really, uh, I haven't recorded any LPs, but I I'm finally feeling good enough again to do it. Should I even mention this just randomly? Probably. <laughs> I was asked about my job in either the first or the second part, and I mentioned how I really liked my job, but I didn't have a lot of job security. That was extremely prophetic, because, uh, you know, I pretty much don't have a job anymore. My last day was today, and I knew it was coming, but I was hoping I had a little bit more time there, you know. The worst part, though, is that I found it on my birthday, <laughs> and my boss didn't know that it was my birthday. When he found out, he actually felt really bad, but it had nothing to do with me. And it was going to happen, but, you know, uh, it just it just sucks that it had to end that way. But I, I knew it was coming. But, yeah, so that's out of the way. <laughs> I'm giving myself, like, a week or so, and then I'm probably going to have to start looking around for another job, but we'll see what happens. My boss might actually might be able to help me out with that. Yeah. So I just need to get that off my chest. So... There are a few questions left. Some people have actually been asking more questions, and I should probably put an annotation to be like, no, no more questions. I've started recording already. You can't. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to answer a few. I've been answering a few in, like, comments for the other videos. So there were two people that sent me messages with questions, and I said, uh, you should, you know, you shouldn't. I, I might lose them, but... Since I got 1,000 uh, subscribers in, like, three weeks or some ridiculous thing, it was almost a month. But that was much faster than, it, than I thought it was, so I still have those questions. So let me answer them. A bunch of them have already been answered, but I can just do those really quick. This is from Addy. A-T-T-Y. Um, what's your name? Adamu! By the way, when people started calling me Adam in the comments after that video, I was, like, really shocked and confused for a few seconds until I realized that I told people my name. I was like, ah... No, that's weird. It's like you're talking to, like, actually me instead of my my internet voice. But, okay, I'll, I'll get used to it. What's your favorite game? I think I said that a few times. Um, what state do you live in? New York. How old are you? I am now 29. Almost, almost 30. That's, hmm. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really all that concerned about age. It's mainly just uh, hoping I can do certain things before I die and being worried that I'm not progressing as far as I would like to on those fronts. Uh, what games are you planning to do in the future? I just bought Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, and I'm probably going to end up doing that. The problem, though, is that I need to practice, and um, despite the fact that my job is over now, the last week has been crazy because I needed to get like all of this stuff done really, really fast. I generally don't work every day because even this job was just like part-time. But this last week, it was boom, 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 boom. It pretty much nonstop. So that's another reason I haven't done any LPs. So. Um, I'm probably... I think I've mentioned it in a certain LPs before. There's, there might be a period where I just need to take a week off. That week's probably coming, because I'm just not far enough ahead. I need a week to generate content. Um, what is your favorite movie? I, I think um, it's probably gone now, but in my old profile, before they did the update, I had a list of movies, but like uh, Kill Bill, Watchmen... Uh, I can't say Inception yet, because I haven't seen it again. I need to see a movie at least twice before I can say it's one of my favorite movies. But, um, Hero. Like, I like martial arts films. Drunken Master's great. Um, there, you know, there's a lot. But I, I do like action martial arts types movies. So, yes. And I like the movies that, like, screw with reality. But I think, I think I've answered this question, too. What is my favorite book? My favorite book is Max Quick. And what is it? It's the Pocket and the Pendant and the Two Travelers. They and again, I only read audiobooks. I don't actually read books because of my dyslexia. That's actually a question later on. Um, but yes, they're free audiobooks. So there is actually print versions now. If you look for Max Quick or the Pocket and the Pendant, you can get that on Amazon. And but you can listen to the audiobook first to see if it intrigues you. Apparently, the actual book is different because he spent a year like editing it and, and refining it. But I just love the Max Quick stories. They're so good. Uh, and I really, I really want the third one to be <laughs> released, but it's probably going to be like another four years because the guy sold the rights to him before he can make the third audiobook. But they are free audiobooks on 
patiobooks.com. And if you're looking for free audiobooks, go to patiobooks.com. It's audio but with a P because it's podcasted. Patio Books. I used to listen to them all the time. And there's a lot of crap on there because anyone can upload it, but there's a lot of amazing stuff. So listen. So go to Patio Books if you like audiobooks. Listen to Mask Quick first and tell me what you think about it. And uh, Brave Men Run is really good, especially it seems to be aimed at people my age, like people that grew up in the 80s. Seventh Son is pretty good by J.C. Hutchins. That's actually the first audiobook I ever, ever listened to was uh, Seventh Son. Although, I don't know, it kind of fell off for me in like the second and third book, but the first book was really cool. Uh, and there's a bunch of others. I, I wish I could I could remember the full list, but yeah. Um, and as far as my favorite, like actual, but like you know, not just podcast books, um, the Hyperion Contos. So that's Hyperion, Fall of Hyperion, Endymion, and Rise of Endymion. I really love those books. They're amazing. Uh, the Dresden Files, also a great series. Not all of them are good, but they're really short, and some of them are really good especially Changes, and that's like the 12th book, and it's absolutely amazing. That's just one of my favorite book, Changes. Um, the Warded Man, also known as The Painted Man, great, and the sequel, The Desert Spear, is even better. The Demonada books are pretty cool, but you know what the great thing about that is? Not all of them are in audiobook form, so I'll never know how that series ends. Oh, well. Um, especially um, the second book in the Demonada series is so good. It's worth it just for that second book. In fact, just go read the... It's called The Demon Thief. It's a really short book. It's great. And especially just the character. Like, the first... Like, when they introduce him, I identify with him so much. It's crazy. But, all right, that's enough books. I could probably go on for significantly longer. Um, have you ever read the Zombie Survival Guide? No. Is it in audiobook form? If it is, I'll check it out then. But, again, I don't really read. So, thank you for those. Let me go to the other person who sent me a message. This is from Air Shirk. I have no idea whatever that says. Are you English or American? Really? Was there really any, any doubt that I'm American? I didn't think I had an accent or anything. What was that? That wasn't even a good, like, fake accent. Oh, I didn't think I even had an accent or anything. That didn't even make any sense either. No, never mind. <laughs> I was going to try to fake a, an English accent, but no, let's not even go down that road, governor. Governor, let's not even go down that. Uh, whatever. Um... What are YouTubers you would recommend to your viewers? I really like um, ElderGeek.com. Well, not just ElderGeek, I think, is their channel, but they do have a website. They're really cool. I've been watching, and they're doing even more content nowadays, and I just I love their content. Um, Dodger from Press Heart to Continue. I also love her content. She's great. The um, Well, not really the Game Station in general. I don't really like their channel. But the Game Station podcast is like this three-hour-long podcast that has gotten me through some pretty tough work days because it's just hilarious. As far as LPers, um, again, special place in my heart for Nintendo Capri Sun. And, you know, I like to see Scrab, and I don't want to bash anyone, but I just do not like the way he interacts with his fans. But, like, his La Mulana... La Mulana... Let's Play is amazing, and it's funny, and I gotta give it to him. He's an excellent Let's Player. What games are you planning today? I, I just asked, yeah, probably Devil May Cry. I'm thinking about Shank, but the problem is I haven't beaten Shank yet, so I need to beat Shank, and then maybe I'll LP it, even though sound is really messed up in certain parts. I might just do it anyway. Um, do you like Call of Duty or any other SPSs? No. I do not like military first-person shooters, and for the most part, I don't like first-person shooters, period. The only first-person shooter I really play is Team Fortress 2, and I've kind of gotten over that game. I mean, it was cool when I first started, but I don't really care anymore. And I kind of just liked it because I could run around with a sword and try to hack people's heads off. Uh, do you like Minecraft? I've tried Minecraft once for about 10 minutes, and I didn't like it. I will not be doing any Minecraft LPs. But again, with, again, with these first-person shooters and Minecraft, there are so many LPs of them out there that I probably wouldn't do them anyway. It's just... it's. It's too saturated. I'm sorry, I can't do it. How long are you going to be making videos for YouTube? As long as it's still fun. Uh, as second it stops being fun, I gotta stop entirely. Have you played the Flash game Happy Wheels? I played it when it first came out. As I understand it, that is a thing. Uh, there are a lot of Happy Wheels LPs because... Um, even if you're not good at commentary, the gameplay on that is so incredibly di ridiculous that... The video can still be hilarious. <laughs> but I'm probably not going to really do that. 
again, partly because of saturation, but also, uh, you know, it's funny what happens, but it's not a great game. Can you try out the game, the movies? Probably not. Um, I'm not going to... There, like, if someone suggests me a game to me and I haven't played it and I don't own it and it costs money, the chances of me actually going out and getting that game are very close to zero. I, and I'm sorry, I just can't just go out and buy random games. The only times I've bought games for, to LP specifically for this channel, they were games that I had already played and knew that I liked. Like, I'm not going to gamble with it. Especially because uh, I'm slightly unemployed right now. How awesome do you think you are out of ten? Uh, I don't know... Seven and a half. That sounds about good. I'd probably raise that a little bit if um if I had like better production values, but I I don't have any intention of getting uh getting production values. But yeah, that's from uh Air Strict Air I, I Air Strict? Does that say Air Strict? Maybe your name is Air Strict. You're very strict about your air. But that's all for the PM questions. Um Yes, no more questions, please. I have to <laughs> I have to finish these videos sometime. All right, back to the questions that were actually asked on the question video. Um, Kilo Zombie wishes for me to pray to him so that he doesn't die, though he does have a decent camping chance. However, since this is a three weeks ago, I'm sure you're long dead. I don't know how it worked out for you, but I'm sure you're dead now. Sorry, but I did give a little ninja prayer when you asked, just so you know. All right, and this one is from Funi Dubar who is in my meta. And just on a side note, Funi, I thought the farm thing was hilarious and people should chill the hell out. But that's just me. That's just me. Okay. How exactly does your dyslexia affect your ability to read? You've talked about it in some of your videos. Well, let me see if I can phrase this. Like, basically, I can't actually read a lot of words, like a lot of large words, unless I've seen them in print many, many times and heard their word out loud. So the only way I can actually read is by sentences. Like, if I see something that's like, a hurricane caused massive destruction. Let's say I didn't know the word destruction. I could probably figure out what it was because it started with a D, and there's a hurricane, and then I'll be like, all right, destruction, and I'll be able to read it. That process, I think, takes longer than most people that normally read. They can just read the word destruction because they can read properly. So because of that, because I have to like constantly jump, like skip over words that I don't know, and then go back to them after I know more of the sentence, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of concentration. Unfortunately, then we have proper names. Proper names are not... I'm not able to do anything with proper names because let's let's I say it was like and then blank went to town and blank is a name that I can't read. Any name could go in that blank. So I have absolutely no way to tell what in hell that word is unless I've heard unless it's a simple name or I've heard it out loud and I can somehow make an association that that's the name. But the reason that I can't read most of these names is I can't read most of the damn names, and there's no context clues to tell me what the name is. I mean, there's one or two RPGs that, first of all, I don't really own them anymore because they got stolen. Again, another story. But um, I'd love to do the Suikoden games, but I'd be, like, terrified because there are, like, 90 playable characters in that game. I'm not going to be able to read half of their damn names. That'd be so confusing. But if I can ever get a PlayStation emulator to work, I'll totally play the Suikoden games. But, um, yeah, basically, it I, I can read. I can even read at, like, a college level of comprehension, unless there's, like, way too many pedantic words, like the word pedantic. But it takes a large amount of concentration and energy, and I read much slower than most people. So, and I, I read things wrong sometimes, because, uh, So it's very hard for me to read for fun, which is why I listen to audiobooks. I like the stories, I just... It takes so long and it takes so much energy, it's not fun to read. I used to read a lot of comic books, actually. Comic books were great because, first of all, if it wasn't for comic books, I'd probably be illiterate. Let's just say that right now. My half-brother gave me his comic book collection that he had been collecting since he was, like, 12 to the time that he... At, once he gave, like... Once he was in his mid-20s, he wasn't reading them anymore, so he just gave them all to me. And I read them constantly, and that's kind of why I'm able to read. School did not help me for crap. If it was just... If I just went on school learning... I'd probably be illiterate right now. But comic books, like, there was little chunks of words, but because the pictures carried a lot of the story, a lot would happen even though I was reading really slowly. 
even if I was taking like three or four times longer to read a comic than anyone else who was reading it, it, it was still fun for me. So yeah, hope hopefully that explains it. Um, I mean, I basically... I confuse a lot of things in my head, including the rules of phonics. So I can't, like, sound words out, because I just... It, it doesn't work for me. But alright, thank you for the question. Um, do you like tacos? I like tacos, yes, but I like making tacos. And... Also, I don't know if you mean tacos in the vernacular, but I'm going to answer it literally. I don't like buying them from stores. I like buying the ingredients and making my own tacos, and I don't use taco shells. I use tortilla chips, and I kind of, you know, dip into the thing. But recently, because, like, with my cholesterol and stuff, which is just not good, I I've been trying to eat slightly healthier, so instead of it being, like, meat and uh, sour cream, I've replaced it with refried beans and uh, Greek yogurt, which is actually a really good substitute for... Uh, for sour cream. Oh, I spent way too much time on the question, do you like tacos, didn't I? All right. So that was from uh, X Pirara. Or no, those X's are like decoration X's, aren't they? So, Pirara? Isuzo. Cross, are you a fan of real-time strategy games? If so, have you played any of the Total War games, and what do you think of them? I have not played any Total War games, but I am actually a pretty big fan of uh, real-time strategy games, but only on one player, which I understand is a little bit weird. But the problem is, like, if I played against people, I'd probably have to, like, look at FAQs to actually find it out of play, and I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in doing that. I mean, I know a lot of RTSs have, like, a set build order that you're supposed to do to be the best, and I don't, I don't care about any of that crap. I want to do whatever the hell I want. And uh, still win, maybe. So I really like uh, the Dawn of War games. And actually, um, someone, I think it was Matrix Man, actually uh, just had like a free copy of um, of the newer Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2. And I tried it on my computer, and my computer was like, no. You, <laughs> no, you've got to be kidding me. Like, it played, but it played so slow I couldn't play it. So that, that was unfortunate. But I like the original Dawn of War games. I don't think I, I'm going to LP them or anything just because um, I'm not that knowledgeable about them. I fumble around, and I just, you know, I just play for fun. Uh, he also asks, what is your favorite band slash artist? I really like uh, System of the Down, though I haven't really been listening to them. Too. I haven't really been listening to too much of anyone lately, except for video game music again. I've come full circle from my youth. Oh, Blind Guardian. I love Blind Guardian. They are epically amazing, and they're just a bunch of big nerds, and they're great. And then there was Silence is, like, the most epic song ever. It's ridiculous. It's just, like, 15 minutes of epicness. And, yes, the song is 15 minutes long, and there are very few repeating parts. Uh, Queen, also. I love Queen. As a kid, I would hear all these songs, and I'd be like, I like this song, I like this song, I like this song. I was shocked to find out most of those songs were written by Queen. So those are probably my... Oh, um, Tony MacAlpine. Tony MacAlpine. I don't know how to spell that. Uh, he's like this guy that's been doing electric guitar since the 80s. And he still he actually still makes music, but I don't really like his new stuff. But his, his the stuff he did in the 80s was really good. So yeah, those are those are some big ones there. Oh yeah, um, Cake. You know, I like a few different things. So this is from Green Diamond News. So he gives me a lot of praise, and he's a, he's been a fan, so that's, you know... Thank you very much for your kind words. He asked me if I would play a game called Out of This World. I haven't played it. I could check it out if it's free or, like, from another system, but I don't know. Probably probably not, sorry. But then he realized he wasn't supposed to ask me uh, a request. So he asked if I'm a cat man or a dog man. I have owned several cats in my life, just my family has, but um, I've never had a dog, so I guess by default I'm kind of a cat guy. And plus they take a lot less effort. So, yeah. Um, so that was from Green Diamond News. Now, Nightmare Ghost. Now, I actually said I wanted to limit it to three questions. And, um, like, pretty much all the other questions were said before I, I posted, like, the annotation. But he, uh, he posted a bunch of questions anyway. And since some of them are pretty damn personal, I'm just going to answer them really, really fast. I have no idea what that is, because you answered your question immediately after you sent it to me. What do you want me to say? Like, good job on figuring that out. 17, no, not really, in, uh, not at all until college. Um, quite a few, but I'm going to answer them fast. I have no idea. That's between you and anyone you choose to tell, but I don't know you, bro. I haven't decided yet. I can't say that I have one. I mean, Binding of Isaac is great. 
Um, not really, but I did have a nice little group of friends that I hung out with. No, but I'm certainly a little bit out of shape because I don't move around a lot. Definitely metal. Plants vs. Zombies. I think anyone would have fun with that game. Alright, so that was from Nightmare Ghost. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to work hard to actually figure out what those questions were. But yeah, you know what? I said... I said you can ask anything. He took me up on it. I, I can't really blame him for that. Some of those questions, man, that was pretty personal. But alright. Awesome kids. If I have to replay an LP, which would it be? So if I had to do one again? Oh, God. Probably pick one of the short ones so it's not a lot of work. Oh, actually, I, I know exactly what the answer is. Yoshi's Island. Uh, so Super Mario Bros. 2, Yoshi's Island. I've actually thought about redoing that because I'm not happy with the way it turned out and it's one of my favorite games, but it was also my first LP ever, and I was just seeing if I could even do this. And what's really cool, you know, as much as people, like, gripe about the new YouTube, the U the new YouTube is actually great. There's a lot more things good about the new YouTube that are bad. In fact, the main bad thing, channel comments are hidden, and you can't X out videos that you've already watched when in your subscription box. Those are the, my two big gripes, but uh, the reply system is better, and the suggested videos are amazing. Like, people are actually watching my old videos now, and that didn't happen before the redesign, because they're actually showing up in the suggested box. But yeah, I, I would redo um I'd redo Yoshi's Island because that was, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing yet. And I feel like that game deserves a little bit more, you know? So all right, that was awesome, kid. Super Captain Black. All I want to ask is when will we see killer evil bees in the new island and evil genius? Uh pretty soon. I think I just uploaded twenty or something. Yeah, it's it's gonna happen pretty soon. The bee hotel will uh will rise, my friend. You just you wait. And he also asked me about Team Fortress 2. That's also been asked. I, again, first-person shooters just aren't my thing, man. And I, I lost interest. And I chose two Flash games. I mean, I just chose, like, random games last night. I found out I can record Sega games, but not Super Nintendo games. And the Flash games, I'm still... Uh, Magic Steel, that game that I did, that was the third time. I, I had to record that game three times before it actually took. Like, I'm telling I beat the entire game. Recording failed. I did again. Recording failed. Uh, I can't record Flash games when they have such a high failure rate. I just can't do it. So, yeah. How did I even get on that topic? Whatever. Clearly faded out there. But that was Super Captain Black. And Nero Guy has another question. So, what is your favorite sandwich? Uh, definitely cheddar cheese. And, um, probably ham. So ham and cheese. And then other things are negotiable. But, I, you know, those are good. Being a graphic designer, if you had to use one font for the rest of your life, which would it be? Am I allowed to use a font family? I'm going to assume you mean font family. If that's the case, it would probably be something like um, Universal or Helvetica. I mean, Helvetica is just everywhere, so probably not Helvetica, but like Universe. Because there are so many different font sizes and widths, you know. It it's pretty versatile font, but... You just need those funkier fonts sometimes, man. I mean, that'd be pretty bad if I could only use font one font forever, but I do to go to Universal a lot. I used to be Gil Sans. All right, whatever. This is not interesting to anyone that is not some type of topographer. So, but yeah, I'll go with Universal. And will you ever replace that troublesome wire? Probably not. I mean, it probably cost me like 15 bucks to get another PlayStation wire, and I don't really think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bother at this point. So yeah, Moose Eater. True or false? False. Okay, thank you for the question. And the Jotsi. Another question from him. What web browser do you use? I use Firefox. Alright, so this is pretty much the last question. It was actually asked in my part two, um, my part two of my 1,000 subs video. And, I, you know, I, I might as well just answer it because I like the questions. But yeah, this, this part seemed to go a lot faster. There weren't that many questions loved, actually. So this is from... 987 viewer does having more subs change your experiments while doing vids I the difference is that more people are commenting uh, I mean that's what's different I mean that's the only thing that's different uh, like subs don't really matter if you had like a hundred subs but 50 of them were really participatory that's a much better experience than if you had uh, like 10,000 subs and like no one talked to you like, it's really all about the interaction. That's that's what really matters. Just seeing a number on your video might make you feel good, but, you know, I like the interaction and the reactions to things that I say and the fact that, like, 
people can like I can ask a question and people can like tell me the answer. I mean that's that's kind of amazing. And the fact that this is a form of entertainment where the viewer can actually have a very direct immediate effect on the product which is that's never really been done before. I mean radio to a very small extent like you call in but this is kind of different. Like this can actually change change like things that are happening on screen by like telling people stuff. That's amazing, which is why I wish I didn't have to do my videos time lagged because that ruins it somewhat, but necessary evil. But yeah, um not really. I mean it's different than from when I had zero subscribers, but ever since I've had like 500, you know, it's been it's been a great experience because I had a few people that were interacting with me a lot. And if your channel grew to 100k or or 10k, I read that backwards. Would you ever consider giving up graphic design to become a professional gaming personality? Like, uh, and then he names some people. I don't know about that. The like, I, I don't get how people like Total Biscuit or, or really the gaming channel in general can put ads on video, like high level video games, and not get sued for copyright infringement. Because the only reason you're allowed to post full video games is because of a clause of fair use. And fair use specifically says that you're not supposed to, like, make money off of it. But then you have, like, people like, what about, like, Siskel and Ebert? Though that's that's probably such an old reference. There are people who probably don't know who Siskel and Ebert are. But, um, they obviously show clips of their movie. And that's under fair use. But th there's a weird situation with fair use that a lot of LPers show the entire game, which is different than just showing small clips. Um, I don't know. Technically, if I wanted to, just the way it's set up, you don't need to be a partner to put ads in your videos anymore. I could put ads in my videos and get a little bit of money for it. But first of all, I don't want to. And second of all, I'm just, I'm just very confused about the legality of it. It seems like it's illegal but people do it anyway and YouTube doesn't really care as long as no one sues them because they're making a bit of money out of it. So, possibly, but I I really don't know. Um, even in a situation like this where I just, like, technically lost, like, my job. And I don't want to sound like I'm, like, horribly depressed or anything because I lost it because I made a lot of contacts and now I have a pretty good portfolio and my resume says something other than dishwasher for eight years. That's huge, but I mean, I know that's a lot of people that start their LPing. I think that's their end goal, but you should know that not a lot of people make it. You like, you have to do it because it's really fun, and if you do it because it's really fun, you'll be able to keep on doing it, and then maybe, maybe you'll strike gold. But that, like, I, I don't, f I feel like that shouldn't be most people's goals because they're just going to be disappointed and give up. That, I mean, that's kind of a downer message. Maybe I shouldn't even say that, but I just do it for fun. You know, whatever the future brings, the future brings. But I don't see that happening. So there goes my incredibly long-winded last response to the last question. Any other questions, I will... Sorry, I'm either going to ignore them or answer them in comments. But, you know, video's over. Maybe I'll make another one if I make it to 2,500 subs. We'll see. You never know when my channel could just be randomly deleted, because that happens. So, I've just got to say... Thank you guys so much for, like, commenting and watching the videos and just all the things that everyone does. Like, when I started, I, I didn't even think I would make it this far, and I just... Again, I got a few lucky breaks. Like, my rebuild, I was the first guy on YouTube to post a video for rebuild. That's where most of my subscribers fr come from. Um, Die Tonight, I made a series that ended up being way more popular than I ever thought it would be, to the point where the people who made the game posted it on the game, so that everyone who played it saw, like, at least the intro to it. And, you know, I'm really appreciative of that. Zombies, zombies have also gotten me to where I, to where I am today, I suppose. I don't, I don't really sweat the, uh, the sub count, you know. I, I like seeing it go up, and, you know, it's kind of cool, because it's like, my power level's increasing, but I'm not obsessed with it. Like, there's a reason that I'm not like, all right, comment and like and favorite, because I don't, I don't care. Like, if you're going to comment or like it, do it because you have something to say or, or you like the video. Um, you know, I don't push for that type of thing. But, like, I like where I am right now. You know, if I if I seriously stayed at, like, 1,000 subs forever, I think I would be pretty happy with that, you know? I, I just want that level of interaction. I just want that fun of recording. And if I have that, I'm going to keep on going until I can't do it anymore.
So, I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for making this uh, far more epic than I thought. I thought I would get, like, maybe 20 questions. I probably got well over 100 if you count up, like, all the different people asking multiple questions. And, um, you are awesome. I know this. I know this in the soul of my face. My face soul. My full. My delicious, delicious full. And hopefully I'll see you in my other PLPs, whatever the hell they will be. Whatever my random mind decides to press buttons to next. See ya.